Hi guys, can you believe what happened in our last video? We got 10 shreddy bears in a row and the boys won 40,000 yen each to spend on our Japan trip. That's equal to 1 million dollars. Uh, no, it's actually about 300 dollars. Make sure you like and subscribe to see what Eddie and Clark buy with their yen. Okay, I'm still a little mad about the shreddy bears. Time to take out some of my frustration. Oh no. Whoa, this Lego projectile launcher is pretty powerful and dangerous. Look at how far it can shoot. Maybe I can use it for today's build. This time, I got everything all planned out and I've prepared a little presentation. We are making a custom Akato Stinger Flynn from the Garden of Ban Ban game. We'll be using Lego, the Lego Torpedo Launcher to be exact, and we'll only be needing an Akato base because Stinger Flynn will be made out of paper mache and wire. And here's a cool pumpkin sticker I found. <laughs> okay guys, the first thing we gotta do is make Stinger Flynn Attach them to this torpedo and see if it'll shoot. I originally wanted to make a clay model of Stinger Flynn, but after realizing that I didn't have non-hardening clay, I decided to use foam instead. And as you can see, I have foam. Now that we've made a foam model of Stinger Flynn, I'm going to use some Mod Podge to make a paper mache shell of our character. And hopefully, it'll be light enough to fly. So if you're wondering why I'm using Mod Podge and not flour, it's because from what I researched online, people have said that this formula is actually going to be lighter than a flour formula. And we need it light. The lighter this shell is, the farther it'll fly. The paper mache is completely dry and I'm about to cut it open so we can remove the foam. I took out as much foam as I could and now I need to put the two halves back together.
Okay, we're all done with the paper mache. Let's get his eyeball in. I found these foam balls lying around the shop. I think I bought them to make the lookies for the Rainbow Friends training figure. Luckily, I made the lookies out of epoxy clay instead. Before gluing in the eyeball, there's something that's really bothering me that needs fixing. Stinger Flynn didn't turn out as smooth as I wanted him to be, so I'm going to brush on a real light coat of drywall mud to fill in some of the imperfections. And after a light sanding, you can see a huge difference. Now, I can glue in the eyeball with some Mod Podge. And throw on a coat of orange. Next, I need to cut this rubbery tip off the projectile. And I also need to cut both mounting rails off the launcher. You guys remember this wire from the Mommy Long Legs build? I'm gonna use it again for Stinger Flynn's tentacles. Okay guys, let's mount these legs to our shooter. Whoa. To mount the wire to the launcher, I'll use three small zip ties and a little super glue. I had to do a lot of testing and research to get the height and aesthetics of Stinger Flynn's legs just right. And as much as possible, I tried to bend the wires using just my hands. To mount Stinger Flynn's rounded tentacles to the base plate, I grinded out four grooves and added a lot of super glue. And hopefully, that'll do the trick. I'm gonna leave them in this trigger clamp overnight to dry. It's been 24 hours and everything is completely stuck together. But before we can position the arms, I need to glue Stinger Flynn to the projectile. As much as possible, I'd like to keep his delicate paper mache body out of the strike zone. So I'm going to elevate him a little with the help of this hot glue stick. Guys, first test. Cross your fingers. Yes. Stinger Flynn ended up being really light and he flies pretty high when being split. But I just wasn't happy with how the paint turned out. So I decided to repaint Stinger Flynn using spray paint. Now, I just have to paint his eye, this big brown scar around his eye, his base plate, his pupil, and Eddie insisted that I add the scar on the back of his head. The last thing to do is lower the split strike button by using some plexiglass. And since I managed to finish the build with time to spare, here's the reveal and battle test with Eddie and Clark. You guys ready for the reveal of Stinger Flynn? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, out of all the Garden of Ban Ban suggestions, no one ever said Stinger Flynn. Really? Why Stinger Flynn? He's big. Is it because he helps you? Yeah. You should make Dumbo Josh because he's good to Chad and no, he's really strong. And he's yeah, way and, more strong than him. It's... Ready? Oh my gosh. Oh my oh. gosh. Can oh I see him? Oh my gosh. I'm the expert. You are the expert. You requested him. No, his scars are supposed to be like a different color, I think. No, it's okay. How does he split? Clarky? Do you want to do the honors? Okay. Whoa! It's like a, he's like 
It works. You use Lego pieces? <laughs> no. I used our Lego torpedo shooter. I'm gonna buy more of them because it's so awesome. Did you see how high it shoots it? Whoa! Oh! What's this head made out of? It's paper mache. What's that? <laughs> it's like newspaper that has glue on it. So isn't it really light? Yeah, and strong. Yeah. It actually looks like him. So I did a good job? Yeah. All right. Check out his arms. Do you think he's going to be powerful? No. Yeah. Check out that eyeball. Pretty round, I think. Pretty round. Here's his scar Eddie insisted upon. Oh man, I don't even know any of these guys' names. Okay, we got... Um, um, Stinky? Um, Stink King. Stink King, Stink. wow! Is Stinky Titan Cameraman. I'm gonna call him Pepe Le Pew. I'm, I'm, gonna I'm call calling him the Titan Stinker Man. Ready. Fight. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Fight! Split strike! Yes. Oh! Okay ready? okay, ready? Fight! Split strike! Oh my goodness! Ready! Fight! Split strike! Yeah! There we go! There we go! Nice! <laughs> that even just his head alone looks cool. Oh. How about a Ninja Turtle? Actually, yeah, there you go. This guy would be pretty good. There you go. Ready, set, go. Oh! <laughs> you just gotta redo, redo. You gotta watch out because Eddie can just stay like this. Oh boy, okay, switching out. Oh, I think Eddie just found his new favorite. No, why do you do this to me? Oh, favorite, Eddie's favorite versus his old favorite. Okay. No, this is my favorite custom. Oh, okay. This is my favorite guy. Oh, Tillman boy. is always going to be my favorite. <laughs> okay. Ready. Fight. Split strike. Whoa. Whoa, guys. Yo. Yo. Oh. Let's go. We're so not used to fighting outside of the arena. It's hilarious. I'm choosing whoever this guy is. I think his name is Seahorn. The unicorn shark guy. Okay, ready, fight, split strike. Oh, did you see that? This guy is super simple to operate. I just, I can't see because I'm looking through the camera. Okay, he's super simple. It's so, guys, if you have a Lego torpedo shooter, you can easily make an awesome custom giant or whatever you want with this. It's so easy. Stinger Flynn versus Seahorn, ready. Fight! Split strike! Oh! oh. Yo! Yo! Oh, trick shot! Hey, it didn't touch the ground. It's good. Ready? Fight! Split! Whoa. Split! Split strike! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> okay, guys. So this has been our fourth <laughs> custom <laughs> Halloween warrior out of eight we are halfway through halloween mode i hope you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like subscribe turn on notifications and we will see you in the next video Bye.